If I know one thing about guys on the internet, it's that they all want to marry a gamer girl. And stop following me! As a certified gamer myself, I understand the desire to have a partner that shares my love of gaming. However, I find that a lot of guys get frustrated when their girls don't approve of their gaming all the time. Well, the problem just might be that you are introducing her to the wrong games. My goal with this series is to help you discover games that will turn your uninterested partner into the next E3-loving, Reggie-worshipping... My ready, body, Reggie? my body is ready. <laughs> ...big time gamer. I can't do it alone though, so I've asked my wife Sierra to play the games and then we will determine if the game is a good one to introduce to your girl. Side note, Sierra of course is not exactly like your girl, but she can be a good indication of what your girl might be more inclined to play. To begin, I thought I would show her how video games can be art, how they can bring the world together, how they are the purest medium of storytelling, and- What the- No, that's a terrible way to start. Fine. It seems instead I will be showing her how video games can let you fulfill your wildest dreams of being a massive jerk to a small English town and getting zero consequences. After the original trailer blew up online in October 2017, this game became one of the most highly anticipated games of the past two years. The gaming universe is full of so many characters that some people desire to be. Master Chief, Link, Donkey Kong... However, it was the indie developer House House that created a character that all of humanity wanted to be. An evil goose. Ah, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay, you know what? Shoot! Shoot! Get out of here! Shoot! Now my wife Sierra is a person who prefers to find the nice things in people, and always wants to make all parties happy in a situation. So I think embodying an evil goose might be a little tougher. Well, my assumptions were very incorrect. Once she figured out the controls, kind of, she kept pressing the wrong button and honking instead of picking things up. How do I grab things? Oh. Oh, you keep Sorry. pressing the wrong buttons, I think. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Let him know that you were here. She wasted no time delighting in the fact that she was ruining this poor gardener's day. She went from this. Oh, I, I do like the early parts of the movies where they have a perfect family and everything. To this. What I would like to play for all of you right now is a little tune called Secretary of Love. <laughs> a one, a two, a one, a two, three. I had never seen a game turn her into such a cold-hearted creature so quickly. She enjoyed the cute visuals and atmospheric piano that accompanied her evil doings. And once she discovered it was a puzzle game, she became so excited to figure out what her next task was going to be. I thought she was going to get defeated and quit after her attempts to solve some of the first few tasks failed, but she trekked on, and her joyous cheers after completing a difficult puzzle were contagious. Oh, there's it. Where are you gonna go with it? <laughs> and now we hear where it's hidden. It worked. Yes! I can't believe that worked. It took her about an hour to complete the first level, and it was late, so we had to call it a night, but when I asked her if she wanted to play the next night, she said it'd be great. Our second playtime didn't go as well as the first one at all. The difficulty curve really shot up after the first level, and Sierra did not handle that well. After not being able to complete the first task within about 20 minutes, she started to lose her mind and try everything she could think of. Now, now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Pepe's mail is getting sent back to me. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I look at the mail, with well, this whole box is Pepe Sylvia! She eventually gave up and handed the controller to me to see if I could figure it out. This is like timing stuff. This is the stuff that I'm not good at. <gasps> oh no, she got her broom back. I'm done. That's the I'm end done. of it? <laughs> You're not playing anymore? <laughs> Took a while for the two of us to solve the task, but it was a great time working together as a team. After I realized that I was the one playing the game now and not her, I decided to ask her to rank the game on this scale. Does she never want to see the game again? Be willing to watch me play the game. Play the game if I'm around, or play the game without me even having to be there. She ended up saying that she would be willing to play the game if I was there to help out. So fellas, if you want to introduce your girl to a sneak slash puzzle game and have a fun time solving puzzles together while wrecking a small English town, Untitled Goose Game is your best option. 
thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to check out more videos like this. And give it a like if you are enjoying the Will Your Girl Play series. And put down in the comments below uh, any game suggestions you have.